TV Flash TV Audio
masturbate to, be sure to slip into the DMs of GED. He'll sort you right out. So you can sort you right out. Previously on Celebrity Final Fantasy VI. One thousand years after the world was nearly destroyed in a war between the Espers and mankind, Terra Bradford, brainwashed by the Geshal Empire, invaded the town of Narsh where an Esper had been found frozen in ice. The Esper somehow broke the slave crown's control on Terra, and she was escorted out of the town by Loke, a treasure hunter traveling the world to find a legendary relic that could revive his lost love, Rachel. Arriving at Figaro Castle, Terra met the young king, Edgar, but no sooner had the womanizing engineer welcomed them than the castle was attacked by the Empire's court mage, Kiefka. Fleeing the castle, the party met with Edgar's brother, Sabin, a reclusive kung fu monk, and together they arrived at the hideout of the Returners, a resistance against the Empire's rule. The party attempted to return to Narsh to convince the neutral town to stand against the Empire, but were separated when they were attacked by a sarcastic octopus named Ultros and had to make their way separately. On his long journey, Sabin met with Cyan, a samurai whose entire kingdom and family were killed in a biochemical attack by the Yuga, and Gao, a wild child who lived on the veld. Meanwhile, Loke attempted to infiltrate and sabotage the Empire's plans in South Figaro, and in doing so helped Celes, one of the Empire's generals who had since turned traitor to escape and join the Returners. The party were united again just as Kifka led an army to attack the town to capture the same frozen Esper. The heroes defeated the army, but then reaching out to the Esper, Terra transformed into a strange creature and flew off into the sky. Her friends found her in a fugue state in the care of an old man named Ramu in the town of Zozo, who introduced himself as an Esper. He confessed that many Espers were still being held in the Empire's Magitech research facility, and maybe one of them would be able to help Terra understand who she was and return her to sanity as Celebrity Final Fantasy VI continues. everyone's bits are going a bit longer because that was a little, a little fast it went through considering how <laughs> how much I did with Mid Journey to make those things happen but I'm, I'm quite happy with them the, the mini Nicolas Cage freaks me out every time I see it I confess just like how the hell is that so good and all I put in was 13 year old Nicolas Cage just, wow you know yep, this is the future people okay <laughs> And yes, absolutely do slide in there because you want your little potato and you can have your little potato. You are my little potato, Mary Rose. Now, let's see if we can make that full screen. Excellent. Oh, it's just re-giving us the, the introduction to the game here while I get this nicely resized. Up. 
Perfect. You are a potato, darling. Okay, and hopefully that recap was enough to to get you guys back up to speed on where we were in the game before the very long hiatus that we've had. Um, now, there was one slight regret I have, which is that there is a patch I wanted to install that would allow us to change languages just for one scene, which is most likely going to happen this um, in today's thing, and I've not been able to to do it. Um, but if we can... Because we can't technically change languages here. So maybe we'll be able to just change the language when it comes to that. It's just, uh, things that, that if we do that, we won't be getting the... Uh, the game will restart the change sets. We won't get the text um, in it. Um, but yeah, we'll, um, we'll get there and we'll see how we go. And yes, congratulations on returning to the back room safely, Frogs. And uh, my goodness, there's such a lot of uh, stuff happening in chat already. A big hello to everyone who's who's already here. Hello, hello to Coffinix there in the mod squad. Clarity Way, Clown Power, Mary Rose, of course. Mitch Audia, Frogs, Rylan, see you all there. Rylan, Strick, Sherry. Lovely to see every single one of you. Um, I think I also saw. Um, uh, Mary Leone there as well. Nice to see Mary Leone. Um, so yeah, let us um, let, let's do this. Let's get. Um, you are always here, Mary Rose. It's true. Let's get this going. So now I'm really hoping there was an auto save. Oh, whew, thank God. Why did the auto save set? Why does the auto save hide itself up there and give me a fucking heart attack every time I come to it? Jesus. Okay. So I think we're probably going to be replaying the last scene from the last stream again, which actually works out quite well anyway. <laughs> like your boss is spam hand cam so much, I'm sure you would. Um, let me uh, let me put those um, up there for everybody. What's that about it? Is that no? Streamlabs, are you working? Streamlabs is not working. I need to turn Streamlabs back on. It does this sort of every uh, every like you know thirty days or something. Streamlabs turns itself off for some reason. Let me turn Streamlabs back on. But yeah, as I said, I think we're gonna have to replay the last scene of last episode again because um, uh, because there was a crash, if you remember rightly, just at the very end of the last stream. Um, my, I'm doing this in the wrong flipping browser, aren't I? Um, Alright, close that. The right browser. Get Streamlabs working. Apart from it, I think we're going to need it in case we get gemmed again. That was really sad, wasn't it? <laughs> Genuinely depressingly pathetic. Uh, and uh, let's make it happen. So, logging into here. Let's get Streamlabs up and running. Now, remind me to check my phone several times during the thing today, because it is on silent, obviously, because I don't want the billings um, interrupting us, but um, just in case I miss something from someone. Cloudbot? <laughs> why, why are you turning yourself off, Cloudbot? We don't want you turned off. We want you on. We like you. Okay, back you go. Good boy. All right, let's try that. I remember nothing, but then again, I'll watch it. That's okay. I'm sure you'll love it. That is amazing. <laughs> wow. Nice cock. Very good. Um, where was I? Um, yes. I was doing this, and then we're going to... There we are. And there's how to give tips right there. Don't get me wrong, still very in favour of subs as well. Particularly if they're prime subs, because then Bezos gets nothing. Okay, now let's go back. So, if you remember... We had made our way to the top of Zozo in an attempt to find Terra. And... It's now loading. And I believe we're just about to find her and go through that scene with Ramu again. Yes, we are. Okay. Let's get these treasure chests. I don't think we're going to get attacked here. 
and I'm also, because we're about to do another party selection and we may not end up with these same people, I am going to unequip everybody so that we will have access to all their stuff when we do. You may also be able to hear my flatmates in the background now and then. Sorry about that. Someone to top banter on Twitch. Oh, there we are. Who is top banter? I, I imagine he is, a, he is a nice person. Otherwise you would not have subbed to him. Here we are. And there's Terra. So let's go through this scene again. And uh, let's get up our, uh, um, our cast list, obviously. Terra played by Cesharon, of course. Terra? Terra? Ah, oh, cool. Brilliant. Here's some more things. Very cool to know about. Oh, and we did decide last time that Ramu was being played by Saria McKellen, I believe, didn't we? She's frightened. Who are you? This girl is your friend, I presume. Terra, is she all right? So her name is Terra. Terra, interesting. Her life is in no danger. She simply used a power she didn't know she had and it overwhelmed her. Now her body won't listen to what she's telling it to do. As for myself, I am Ramu. The Esper Ramu. You're an Esper? Don't Espers live in another world? That doesn't mean there's anything stopping us living in this one. Espers come in a variety of forms. My appearance is similar to your own, so I can live here as one of you. Without fear of anyone discovering the truth. Uh, one quick moment, just can turn my monitor on. Advanced audio properties on here. Uh, check. Ooh, just realized we're getting quite a bit of feedback, aren't we? That's, uh, wow, we're getting a lot of that. Why is my mic so loud? Hmm, there's the thing on at the back. One moment. So we're getting quite a lot of, uh, is that fixing it? Not really. Hmm. Give me a moment, guys. I'm just going to try and see if I can stop it from... Cause I'm, I, can you guys hear that kind of low-level hiss? It's certainly there, isn't it? Maybe I just need to turn the... See, have I got noise cancelling on? I've got, I have got a noise gate on. Hmm. Ah, that's better. Not great, though, still. No. Check, check. No. Okay, give me a moment, guys, while I try and fix this. Check. Check, check. Check, check. Check, check. 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 No, it's not helping. Uh, annoying. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. Sorry guys, I, mean, I should really be sorting out the hardware. Okay. See, I'm actually getting the... Um, hmm. I think I know what the problem is. I think it's at the edge here. It's at the software end. I'm not squelching it over here. I do it. Thank you for bearing with me, everybody. 
very glad I turned the um, monitor on. I wouldn't have seen. Yeah, flatmates are aggressive with the dishes. Am I edging? <laughs> no. All right. Um, sounding. Managed sound devices. No, not that. We are input microphone device properties. There we are. There we go. Okay, check, check. That's what we wanted right there. I am sorry. I know that exactly what the problem was there. It was turn up to 100% on the computer. And that was giving us way too much. Now we have a much better situation, I believe. Much better. Okay, let's carry on then. So, some of us can turn here without any fear of us discovering the truth, says Ramu. Why, why hide the fact that you're an esper? Humans and espers are incompatible creatures. But my grandma told me that humans and espers once lived side by side. Of course, that was only a bedtime story. No, that was no fairy tale. Humans and espers used to live together in harmony. At least until the War of the Magi. The War of the Magi. I love how everyone freaks out whenever that's mentioned, even though it's been mentioned so much already. It took place long ago. Espers fought humans who had been fused with magical powers extracted from other Espers. Flashback. You watched my stream a lot. That's how you ended up with 4,000 Ts. After that meaningless war ended, the Espers fashioned a new realm to which they exiled themselves. They learnt that if they remained, it would only be a matter of time before their powers were started again, were targeted again. But then, one day about twenty years ago, humans stumbled upon the entrance to the Esper world, and thus began the hunt, for Geshar, the leader of men, knew he could use the powers extracted from us to create an invincible army. That's the name of the Emperor, everybody, Geshar. We're still yet to properly meet him. As soon as we realized what happened, we erected a massive gate and forced the humans out. You're a wonderful, sassy, sweet stalker, though. I like what they've done with the smoke here. That's 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 newly done in the remaster. Those who are captured are still held in the Empire's Magitech research facility, being drained of their powers. I narrowly escaped the same fate, and now here I am with you. She seems to have calmed down a little. 18k, shit. <laughs> That's a lot. I called Terra here to me when I sensed that she had lost control. She responded to that call. <laughs> Take it, Mary Rose. So Terra's an Esper. <laughs> Don't be nervous to spend them. Always spend them, Coffinix. You're always welcome to spend them. No, she's a bit different from us. I would suggest wait until until after this scene is oh wow yes what do you win <laughs> um wait until after this scene is over before using a silly voice possibly because we're and actually we've got another big scene coming cut scene coming up right after this but then we'll have time for all the silliness but yeah no she's a bit different from us she looks like she's in pain she's afraid of what she is and that is a painful thing What can we do to help? What, sorry, what can we do to help her? Once she understands her true nature, the fear and doubt should subside. Is there nothing we can do? 
the others of my kind who are trapped in Geshal's Magitek research facility may be able to help her. <laughs> That's still not on offer, Rylan. And if we get inside that facility, you're sure we'll find them? Oh, sorry. And if we get inside that facility, you're sure we'll find them? Hmm. Magitek research facility. Your people are in there. I escaped alone, abandoning my friends and hiding here like a coward, but I fear I can no longer remain. Oh, God. <laughs> what do you mean? Geshar's methods are mistaken. He knows only to drain an Esper's power by force, but that's not the way to unlock our potential. Only when we become magister. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, maybe. Maybe. I'll, I'll put it in as a maybe, guys. But don't let that stop you from shit, spending points and having fun, okay? <laughs> Only when we become magicite can our strength be transferred in full. Is it taken off the table? When was it put onto the table? I don't remember being put onto the table. Did we put it on the table? I don't know. Also, um, can I just say, Ember here now is also a mod. Thanking. Um, so, uh, so, all credit to them as well. Fox is still pretty much head of the mod squad, but we I have upgraded Ember, particularly um, after um, their help with that ridiculous thing that happened the other day. Only when we become Magicite can our strength be transferred in full. What are you saying? I am going to turn myself into Magicite so I can enjoy strength. Magicite? Magicite is an Esper's power in its purest form. When an Esper dies, Magicite is all that's left behind. But... <laughs> Thank you, Ember. These are my companions who fell as we fled the Empire, and I will give you my power as well. It wasn't ridiculous in a good way, Ryan. Well, it was. It was pathetic. We got raided by a bunch of grognards and misogynards. You're really gone, aren't you? Yeah, it was pretty sad, really. He turned himself to Magicite. He gave up his life to help us. Yeah, it, it didn't really bother me so much. I just found it so weird that that's a thing. I and mean, we just shut the stream down. That was, that was all, you know, it was like, whatever. Wasn't particularly bothered by it, but yeah, just hard to believe that people are that depressing. Lead sad. Why would you do such a thing? If our power is used for destruction, the skies will darken and life will fade from the earth. You must stop the Empire. There must not be a second war of the Magi. Obtained Ramu Magicite. Yeah, we got Magicite. Obtained Kate Sith Magicite. Obtained Siren Magicite. Obtained Kirin Magicite. Final Fantasy fans may recognize some of these names from some other games of um, monsters or summoning summonable creatures and stuff. Guardian forces in... Uh, um, in Final Fantasy VIII, summons in Final Fantasy VII, etc. Or Final Fantasy IV. Now, I'll talk to you all about the Magicite stuff after we've gone through this next scene. Terra, wait for us. We'll be back for you. And... Learn Bolt. Now, lads, we told you to wait. The whole point of you was to wait in Nash and take care of them. How did you... you I mean, it took... Oh, whatever. They're here. No explanation needed. Everyone's here? I was just thinking. Let's talk on the way back down. 
Another cutscene. Right, well, can't be distracted in this because it's time sensitive. So the Empire has been draining magic from Espers. Celeste, was all that true? I was asleep when they performed my infusion, so I don't know for sure. But I've heard rumours to that effect. This is where it crashed last time. I suppose, I suppose we must find a way to slip into the Empire. We're best split up again. We still need to beef up our defenses in Nash. Then why are you here? <clears throat> right, Emma. That would indeed, that would indeed be wise. I'll go to the Empire. I know inside and out. But alone? Don't worry, I'll go with her. Lock. Oh, they're so cute. Might I advise going in greater numbers? Right, here we go, people. It's time for us to choose who goes with. <coughs> and we're going to have a poll. So yeah, let me... <coughs> aggressive coughing for flatmates. Yes, indeed. Um, oh, dear. Right. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, right. So let us have a poll. So, who is going to come with? We have to take Celeste and we have to take Locke. However, we have the pick of the other four to take with us. Um, they all have their uses. Gao, as you know, is still a ridiculous powerhouse right now. Um, we're being able to cast Fira um, and uh, various other hard hard ass things. It's not as badass as he could have been if we'd spent any longer on the Velt, but that would have made for a very boring session that time. Um, oh! Ember has resubscribed. Oh, goodness. Well, I have to do this now. Oh, Ember. Oh, oh. And, um... Yeah, so Gal's got, got that. Um... Sabin obviously has his uh, has his blitz techniques. He is about to learn a new one called Fire Dance, which is a fire attack on everyone, um, and obviously is 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 quite powerful that way. Um, Edgar now has access to two and soon three new tools. Um, one that does reasonable damage and potentially blinds everybody, um, uh, every enemy that is, and uh, um, and also. A Two um, that will do serious damage to one target, and Cyan um, has the same stuff he always has, and he's about to learn Quadra Slice, which means, which essentially means he attacks four times, and again he can do that from the back row. And as with there was, there would have been a time any previous iteration of this game, I would have hideously avoided taking Cyan because because um, they he used to have to spend a long time waiting for his attacks to power up. It seems they fixed that now, so I have no issues with him coming. I should also say that everyone is about to be able to learn magic that is part of the um the whole esper thing so they will all be getting spells as well soonish um so let us um, start the poll you have two minutes we're looking for the first person this time and then we may depending what the results are for this we'll run through again <laughs> um so um uh, if it is um yeah if um depending on what the votes are for other people we'll see um, if the um, we'll go, we'll do the vote a second time. Choose the third person soon, if we wish. But yeah, I'm gonna use a lip biter mode. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Love it. That's so cool. Um, of course, we need a second mod lover mode. One for, one for Ember now as well. Ah, oh, I've got this turned on. I think we turn that off. That's probably gonna get rid of that little. Yeah, excellent. Right, well, it looks like we didn't need to make this a two-minute one because we have a pretty much clear winner so far. But there's ten of you, and we've only had four votes, so get in there and take a vote if you can. If you're not able to get onto the chat right now, that's obviously fine. Hello to anyone who's just tuned in, by the way, wondering what's going on. Um, if you don't know who I am, I am Jed Audio. I am a voice actor who does romantic and erotic audios for women. 
and I will be um, and we are doing uh, Celebrity Final Fantasy 6 which is me playing Final Fantasy 6 and um, <laughs> and um, uh, each of the cast members being celebrity guest impersonated by me badly um, and you get to choose who plays who when we get new people. So yeah, we've got one vote for Gal, we've got five for Sabin. It looks like Sabin is definitely coming with us now anyway. Um, and then we'll do another one for, to get to choose who the next member of the party is. Oh, don't worry, frogs. Take your time. It's all good. Sort your headphone situation. Excellent. Okay, so we're taking Sabin with us then. Absolutely. And it, absolutely, um, Sherry, you go take care of yourself. You know, there, there's, there's, there's videos on demand and shit. That's all good. Not a problem. Um, let's uh, uh, do this. Okay. Um, and here is another poll. Uh, we'll just make it one minute this time, seeing as that was quite quick. So we have um, Cyan, we have Gao, and we have Edgar. Marvellous. Excellent. Okay. So there's one minute to choose who your other member who's coming with us is. Are we going to take Gao? Are we going to take... It went for, um, play by Nicolas Cage. Are we going to take Edgar, played by Neil Patrick Harris? Or are we going to take Cyan, played by Ken Watanabe? They've already just um, told you what uh, what advantages they bring. They all bring their own different advantages right now. Um, sadly, um, Celis is possibly the weakest member right now. She's going to get ridiculous later on. But... Uh, um, and she is obviously compulsory. Um, Locke also isn't super strong right now either, but again, we'll, um, he'll be picking up a few things that's going to help him pretty soon. And now that we can increase their, their numbers of spells they get, that's excellent. Obviously. And we're taking Gao, of course we are. Whilst it, of course, oh, I, I possibly didn't say, which I possibly should have said, that there is a possibility of a joint scene between Edgar and, and Sabin if we take them both, but that's uh, that's by the by. Um, I can explain that when we come. It's not that um, it's not that huge. Excellent. And we'll take Gal. Oh, great. I, I love being in the party. Shut up, Nick. Okay. Excellent. I think that's going to be a bloody strong group, actually, where we're going. Um, apart from anything, believe it or not, one would think that Sabin is the kind of guy who is pretty much all about bashing shit, and he's mostly... Uh, um, yeah, there is a new audio coming. Absolutely, yes. Um, <coughs> he is um, um, He's actually more a mage than anything else, believe it or not. Anyway, we are done. There was one other option, of course, which we could have gone to, uh, to Colligan and picked up Shadow, but he can fuck off at any time, which is just not really useful right now. <laughs> Nick right now. How much damage we can do, frogs, you kid. <laughs> Wait for us back in Nash. Don't worry, we'll be fine. If we need to change party members, I guess we'll head back to Nash, which we won't need to do. Because that's a journey. So how are we going to get there? The Empire's on the southern continent. But they've closed all the harbours and no ships are permitted to leave port. The town of Gidor to the south is full of wealthy aristocrats. One of them must have no way in where there's a gill. Gill is the currency, if you didn't already know. Loke. Yeah? Why are you coming with me? Well, there's a room about legendary treasure hidden in Imperial territory in Duel. Thought I might take a look around. Right. Okay. Now this guy explains how Magicite works. But we don't really need to do that because I'm going to tell you how Magicite works. It's very, very cool. So... Uh, now, I assume it's going to be under abilities. Yes. So for each of the party members, we can... Um, <laughs> like a witch, damn you, Leon. Um, for each of the party members, we can... Um, we can equip them with a different Esper. And the Esper that we... Um, 
equip them with will allow them to well several different things firstly you can summon them in battle like a summon spell in various other final fantasy games secondly you will begin to learn magic through them. So, for example, if we give Ramu to Celeste, which is a really good idea because she needs an atta a good attack spell right now. More than any of the other characters, and she will get Thundara eventually through him. Um, they will learn um, spells at a different rate. Um, you can see here on the right, um, there is the acquisition rate. That tells you how fast you're going to learn a spell with this Esper. Um, because some Espers teach the same spells at different speeds, blah, 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 like that. Um, and yeah, Thunder, Thunder on Poison. At the end of each battle now, as well as XP, you just... Oh my goodness, thank you, Clown Pal. I'm going to have to moan now. Mm. Uh, Clown Pal. Oh. Unless that was for a specific thing, was it? Oh, hang on. Do you want to turn... Are you wanting to turn on the hand cam? Is that what's going on here? I can't remember if that's how much hand cam cost. I thought hand cam was only three, actually. I'm not sure 10 does anything, but it could just have for a, just a lovely donation. Thank you. Thank you very, very much indeed. It's wonderful. Very, very kind of you. And, uh, yeah, where were we? Yes, um, as well as getting experience points, you also get um, mag uh, magic points, which um, indicate how quickly you learn the spells, basically. If you get one, then that will count as 10% for Thunder on this and 2% for Thundara, etc., etc. The other thing that you do um, is uh, for it. Um, you want hand cam? Let's get hand cam on then, come on. You only need three for hand cam, but I'll happily put hand cam on. I guess, seeing as you put in 10, I will put on hand cam for 30 minutes. Even if I did give you a moan. Here we are, okay. I'm feeling generous. Let me get hand cam all sorted. Should be okay to go on. And the other thing is, as you can see, at the bottom it says, at level up, stamina plus one. Now, I've already told you that in this game, when you level up, um, you get nothing except more hit points and magic points. Um, you don't, your stats don't go up at all. Um, and the amount of damage that you do, etc., is based partly on your, what level you're at, uh, plus your base stat. However, with Espers, you can increase those stats a little bit. So, generally, <laughs> you want to try and keep track of when your character is about to level up and switch to the Esper that's going to be the most useful for them for that level up moment. So they, so you up their stats. And if you up their stats properly, the characters become just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, just ridiculous, basically. So yeah, so that is what an Esper does. Now, let me get this hand cam on. Um, I will equip the other Espers in a moment. Okay, that is not well lit at all. Let me get that. If I put it on this mug here, that should do the job nicely, I think, actually. There we go. Happy days. Let's turn on the hand cam. Bob. And let's put 30 minutes on the clock for that, shall we? How do I get my clock up? Nope, that's all right. There we go, 30 minutes, and we are away. Okay. So, so you're what up? <laughs> Timer up. A clock. Clock. Clock with an L. Naughty thing. Now, let's get back to the game. So we're going to equip um, some stuff on everybody else as well. Um, um, we're going to give Kieran to lock for now. Kieran is a healing esper, not a very good healing esper, but a healing esper nonetheless. Um, a, the one thing Kieran gives that pretty much no one else gives is Libra, which is really freaking useful. It's a spell that basically, I mean, you've got them in every Final Fantasy game, really. The the one that tells you how many hit points the enemy has and what they're weak against, etc. Um, Sabin, we're going to give you Siren for now, who will silence enemies when you summon them, and teach fire, as well as sleep, silence, and slow. And those grey spells, people, those are the ones that really matter. 
Hello, Chop Cheese. How are you doing? And yes, it is. The, I didn't notice you earlier. Yes, it is the best game ever, in my opinion. I'm a huge fan. Um, and final look at Kate Sith to Gao. Kate Sith, you, of course, possibly remember from the uh, um, from Final Fantasy VII as a playable character. Um, name of a uh, cat's, a, mis a mischievous Japanese cat spirit. So, um, yeah. And uh, Kate Smith will confuse all enemies. Most importantly, gives that all-important magic plus one at level up, which is something we are going to want. Uh. Yeah, second ode to Furry Feet, the greatest game of all time. Also, teaches float, which is good. Now, our aim is to get past... Um, is to get to the point in this session will be to get to... Um, the opera scene, the infamous opera scene and beyond. And I was hoping to install a patch, which I didn't get around to doing sadly in time, which allows us to choose what language we have the opera in because they've actually recorded vocals to it. And sadly, the British, the English vocals are atrocious. Um, I can tell you right now. Um, because opera doesn't work in English, people. It is not a good language for English. And I was going to give you guys the option to have it in French, Italian, German, which are good opera languages. Languages or Japanese, because I know there's probably a bunch of, quite a few of you are all weebs. I've also just realised I did not equip these guys with anything, so I should probably do that, because we are currently all wearing no armour or anything, which is really fucking stupid. Never mind. Judgment bolts just hooks them off. You are in time for hand cam. Oh my darling. Exactly that, chop cheese, I know, right? Yeah. Uh... Oh, and Gao's... Oh, did Gao get a level up? No, he will get a level up next time, probably, and so he'll get that. But maybe you buy a slot. See, I mean, Leonor, you, know, you, you know what I'm talking about here. As someone who's multilingual, you know full well that, you know, if it's... N opera is designed for Italian or German, of course. A lot of operas are written in German. And they do work in French, most of them, because everything works in French when it comes to music. But, uh, but yeah. The bed, her bed, her bed. Okay, yeah, that's, that's all right. Now, we're going to want to equip these guys some relics as well. Let's make sure we've got some good stuff. I think a ribbon on Gao actually wouldn't be the worst fighters, but actually definitely get the Hermes sandals on him without a shadow of a doubt. Spam oh, no, fair enough, actually. Yep, that's that's fair enough, Chop Cheese, as well, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure I'd put opera in Spanish, but but I think that is also an option. Um, and a hero ring would be a very good choice for Gao, actually, because he's going to be using both fighting and magic attacks because of the way he works, so we can't control it. Um, relics for... Uh, we want to give her at least one earring. Really, we want two earrings, so we're going to try and buy another earring soon. So I think we should be able to pretty soon. Um, and... Yeah, I think, to be honest, actually, the... The ribbon wouldn't be a bad filler relic for her. Sabin, again, earrings would be good. We don't have them. So we're going to give him the black belt. And we're going to give him the... Peace. No, the white cape. The white cape is fantastic. Increasing magic defense and magic evasion. And finally, on Loke, the Gygus glove is almost all the... De oh, firstly, the brigand's glove, obviously. We don't have the other steely thing yet, do we? Oh, we have, I forgot we have the Genji glove. Shit, that's a really good relic. That, we'll give that one to, um, to Saban here. Now, Gygus gloves don't... Dang, well, that's okay. Yeah, Brigand's Glove and Geiger's Glove will do for him. Excellent. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We are very good indeed, but I'm actually going to change that out for the um, for the Genji Glove, and we'll get him with double... Yeah, Mithril Claws and Burning Fist. Burning Fist is a weapon for Saber, not a strange sex move. No? Okay, fair enough, Frogs. <laughs> No, I don't mind. I think I think Fre I I, th I think French is a fantastic language for for seeing things in. Anyway, I was going to hope you guys would have picked Italian anyway for it, to be honest. But it doesn't matter because we're not doing it. So I'm afraid you're going to have to have the opera in English. I'm really sorry. Really, I'm, I'm genuinely sorry. Did you see? Of course, we suplex the train. You can't not suplex the train. I did do um, <laughs> I think back in episode four. I think you can find that on the YouTube. Um, we did eventually use the, 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 oh, what, what the hell? What do you mean time's up? That was, 
That must have been three minutes, not 30 minutes. Oh, no, that was a five-minute timer. Sorry, I forgot there was a five-minute timer as well. Yeah, that, don't worry about the five-minute timer. That was nothing to do with anything. That was an accident. Yeah, we did use the cheeky um, thing where we uh, um, uh, used... Oh, what's it even called? Um... Uh, uh, Phoenix down in order, to, in order to kill the train because it's undead, but we had to suplex it first because you've got to suplex the train. You, you, you can't not. It's just rude not to. Oh, gold needle's always worth having. And yes, Gao leveled up. Great. Now the next to level up will be Sabin. We need to keep an eye on that because we want to give. We want to switch the. Um, <laughs> thank you, Mary Rose. <laughs> um, we want to switch the Esper, um, the same the Esper the Gao currently has onto Sabin before he levels up because we want to increase Sabin's magic power. Believe it or not, that is that is the main thing to increase him by because a lot of his blitz techniques and they do get ridiculously strong. Fire off magic. That is their base stat. Right, we're back to Gidor. We're back to where the posh people are, as we discussed earlier. Last time, all the people in Gidor are voiced by people from the home counties. I think they just say the same shit, mostly, but here we are. Weapon. Now, I don't think we need anything from here. We haven't already got, but let's just check. Ah, if he's going to be using two, um, two knuckles, then yes, we do want the Kaiser knuckles for him, because he can't get two burning fists, I don't think. At least not right now. Uh, and yeah, we're not going to be using those or any of those. Always forget which key it is. Hydrate, yes, thank you everybody. Let's hydrate. Hydrate or dehydrate. Ah, thank you. And yeah, sorry, we don't need to be here. We've just been that. Ugh, so I'm a little bit lost now. And now, if we go to the relic shop, I think. What do you have to say? Oh, you're talking about all the people being forced out of town! Ha ha ha! What a bastard! Yes. Here we go. Shall the gluck drate? Who wouldn't want to gluck drate? Yes. Welcome. Yes, we can buy earrings here. That's epic. We need another one of those for her. <sighs> How much have we got? I see no reason not to get a third one, actually, just for the sake of having it. Even if we're not necessarily going to use it right now. You, you can't have too many earrings. They're literally the, the most, pretty much one of the most powerful relics in the entire game. And we'll double earring her, yep. Even over a ribbon, I would, on Celeste, I would, I would put it there. I genuinely would. Um, I think we'll put the ribbon on Logan instead of the Geiger's glove, which does make him do more physical damage, but we, um... I think the whole not being being immune to every status element is kind of useful, let's be honest. Now, I don't think that the... Now what's happened? Oh, God, sorry. Ignore that. There we are. Now, I don't think that the Opera House is open yet, but let's check just in case. I don't think the, the Opera House works until we've been to the Empire. Yeah, today's auction is over. Yeah, we'll come back there later to do the auction stuff. Boom. The only way to reach the Empire now is by air. Of course, you'd need an airship for that. What? Did you think I was going to suggest launching you from a catapult? I think that's a reference to Secret of Manor or one of the older Final Fantasy games. Could be wrong. Right, so we go back. You may remember this big mansion with all the paintings from before. And here is the Imparasso. Imparasio. The Imparasio is the man who is the head of the Opera House south of town. He is um, an expert in music and obviously one of the greatest singers who's ever lived. Um, oh, I just realized I need to change the uh, the cast um, thing. I'll do that after this. Obviously, yes, one of the greatest singers that's ever lived, which is why he will obviously therefore be played by the actor Russell Crowe. Maria? Hmm? M me? 
Sorry, I mistook you for someone else. Still, you could pass Maria in a heartbeat. Oh dear, we're really in trouble this time. Celeste looks like Maria. Apparently she does. Let me just remove the ones who aren't on here. Do, 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 do. There we are, just the ones that are. Lovely. Vogue. And they're all looking at him unimpressed. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> right. If this guy said anything, I'd say, You're the spitting image of Maria, huh? Haven't heard of her. You say she's a famous opera singer. Right. And here is the letter that the man dropped. We're about to cast someone, people. That man must have dropped this. That man is the director of the troupe that performs at the opera house. Everyone just calls him Impresario. He has been in a tizzy ever since that letter arrived. Dearest Maria, I'm just doing a neutral voice now because we haven't cast this guy. I've decided to take you as my wife, so I'm coming to contact you. The Wandering Gambler. Who's this wandering what's-his-face? Were you born on a farm, son? Sets up is very cool. A gambling vagabond who finds freedom for society's narrow views of morality aboard his airship, the Blackjack. Setsa is an albino professional gambler with an airship and a massive playboy. Yeah. Um, we will not be recruiting him as a cast, as a player character for a little bit, but he will be one of them. I don't think we have a problem saying. The question is, who is going to play that person? So let's get ready for a vote, people. I've got a fair few people in mind, some based on the internet, some based on my own ideas of who would make a good cast member for this. If someone has a brilliant idea, say now, and or forever hold your peace. And I will add it. Nice checking. <laughs> yes, that is actually one of our uh, one of our choice. Crossed arms for pro gamer. <laughs> uh, no, no, definitely not a pro gamer. Um, so. Sorry, one second. All right. You've got two minutes to vote, people. And there's your selection. Get in there. Yeah, obviously young version of Harrison Ford. He is young. He's about 20, despite having white hair. The white hair is because he is albino. bit divided but we're getting uh, we're getting an interesting thing of this so far yeah he is but at the moment it looks like the the voice may be going somewhere else 
There's still a few more of you in chat, I believe. If you haven't voted and want to, please do. Yep. RDJ is, a, is I think, a potentially good choice for this one, too. Oh, Harrison Ford is gaining, though. This, I don't know. We're, we're going to be we're going to be casting an NPC next session as well, but. Not, we won't be casting another player character now for a good while, I think. I'm trying to think now to be sure we had six. This makes eight. Yeah, yeah. And there we are, just pipping him to the post. Robert Downey Jr. takes the prize. I'll happily play this as uh, Robert Downey Jr. I just have to make sure I get my... Uh, I am... I am I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. I can I can do it. Pathfinders unite. I, I, I can get my Robert Downey Jr. impression down. I'm sure. Yes, sets. Uh, we're keeping the the general names because of the way we're doing things with celebrityness. Apologies to those who want Harrison Ford. Don't worry, we do have some potential Harrison Ford options coming up later, or one in particular. Anyway, I got this. That would be Setzer, owner of the world's only airship. Wow, talk about a coincidence. We were just looking for a way to cross the sea, and just now do we find out about the person who owns the world's only airship. What the fuck are the chances? If we had that airship, we'd have our way into the Empire. Let's set up a meeting with this Setzer. Right, so... We're going to need... He's coming to take Maria as his bride at the opera. We're going to have... plot convince exactly. We're going to have to go to the opera. And on our way there, I'm going to bash a few things because I want to level up a bit. So we're not going to we're not going to do much grinding, I promise. We're not going to make this a proper grind session or anything like that. I'm just going to um, knock a couple of them um, out on the way. That sounded dodgier than it was meant to. If we had the sort of proper time, if we're going to have a... DM didn't have time to prepare the session. <laughs> it's bonk time, that's right, you know. <laughs> the bulk of when, yeah, that's when suddenly the, the plot just comes right at you. Though we, we prefer the term GM here, don't you know? There are other role-playing games besides D&D, people. So at the moment, Celeste's best ability remains, um, uh, remains runic, um, which isn't, uh, um, which is the ability to stop people using magic, essentially. Right, okay. So we got five top XP then, okay, right. And the XP is divided. Of course you can't, GM, <laughs> Games Master. GM, Games Master. It's the one that's used by all the other, by most other role-playing games. Some role-playing games have a very specific name for the Games Master. Deadlands, for example, uses the Marshal, but yeah. But you call your GM a general manager from now on. Yes, I think <laughs> I think you should too. Yes, yes, they yes they are definitely always GMs. Them that that I can't deny. Celis, of course, is also one of the two characters that gains magic naturally. Um, as she levels up, she gets access to certain spells. Um, but trust me when I say it, it's a lot quicker <laughs> espering her than anything else. Right, Sabin is leveling up next bat next um, battle. No two is about that. So, this can get a bit tiring. But we're going to do it a bit for now. We're going to switch espers. We're taking Siren off. We are... Taking Kate Sith, switch, taking Kate Sith over for Siren. This means they will have, and we're only doing this for the one battle, so that Saban gets access to that plus one magic. Which is, may not seem like much, but will make an enormous difference. Doggo asleep on lap, yeah. Like I say, we are, 
as soon as we get the airship, basically, I can see us possibly having a few sessions where we, where which will not be on the Sundays, where I've just got some time to play, where we'll just grind. We're doing grinding stuff and just chatting and being silly, going to the Velt and getting more stuff for for um, Gao, etc. Um, and that will be, um, and on those there'll be quite a bit of switching around and stuff. But you know, I'm for the main sessions. I don't want to spend too much time doing things like that because I want you to enjoy the story. Mero, it's your drinking turn, yep. Move, that's the law, yep. Ah, damn it, I need to do one more. Never mind. This is a titrate case, yes. Oops, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Did not mean to go to New York. Most importantly, I wanted to make sure some of these characters learn some fucking spells. Really? We want Celeste to get to get Thundara as quick as physically possible, and it is going to take a little while. But we're not going to. Um, well, I promise we're not going to just sort of spend half the session wandering around bumping off these random monsters to make sure that um, she gets Bizarra. Well played, well played, Ember. Well played. There we are. Level up for saving. Now. Loke, <laughs> there's not much. Po Loke is never going to be very good at magic, and we're never really going to use him for magic. We're always going to use him to attack shit. Um, so I'm probably going to stick him with Siren for his level up, which is about to happen. This becomes less of a faff later on when the, the, <laughs> there comes long between level ups, of course. Anyway, for now we're going to um, switch that. Oh, good to know that we can do that and get them back onto the ones that were on. Well, ish, because Loke's about to take Siren. Boom. There we are. And you can take Kieran for one battle. And then we'll switch back. Obviously, super important to use um, to make sure that Celeste gets that magic up when she levels. Yeah. We're getting pretty close now. Now... I am actually going to use Runic. This means there is a chance that Gao is about to cast Fira. Yep. Oh no, because she didn't get the Runic out first. But if she gets the Runic out, um, then she will um, she will catch that spell basically, even if we cast it. Which means it doesn't connect, but we'll get some free magic points in this case. Oops, I went to the Opera House too early. Don't I know we're not going in yet. Go on in a moment. Um, because you really you know, not only tanks magic spells, but instead of taking damage, you learn you recover the cost of the spell in terms of magic points, which is freaking amazing. So we can use Gao to. Oh, you stupid ass! Oh, no, didn't. Um, didn't put the blitz command in right. Um, you can use Gao's rage to. Restore her magic points for free, basically, because it doesn't cost him anything to cast them. And seeing as you know, we're not in real danger from these things, might as well off them. We're getting lots of gold needles. What time is it? Is ten past five? Okay, I still have a little bit of water left as well. Okay, cool. That's her powered up for a bit. Most importantly, we want to make sure that she's able to rock out him. Um, uh, summon when she needs to. Because recovering magic points is expensive in this game, people. It is not cheap. Um, there we are, that's lock powered up, so he's getting 10, 10 points, 10% uh, 10 hit points up. So his, imp his hit points are going to increase anyway, but they increase uh, by a further 10% as a result of doing that. Later on, there's some espers that give you ridiculous amounts. But yeah, holy milk, yeah. <laughs> it's not... Um, but yeah, you... Uh, um, I can't need to get everyone back where they were now. Oh, so you back under Kieran. Okay. Um, and now we need Celeste to take... Okay, it's it. This becomes so much fucking easier later on <laughs> when we have more espers available. Like, you would not believe. Okay. Um, you can take Siren back and Gao. You can spend one battle on Ramu, then we've all leveled up, I swear we're going to go in and, and we're going to have one more battle and then we're going into the Opera House, I promise. Mm. 
But yeah, eventually you have more espers to choose from, and then you don't have to, half the time you don't have to worry about changing them. <sighs> there also kind of gets to the point where you don't need to give characters that many more spells. So you, you know, when characters have enough in terms of the spells they've got, you just sort of leave them on an esper that's designed for their level up rather than anything else. We're a way off that. She now has access to Thunder, and that's something. Thundara will be better. Are you serious? One fucking XP? Really? One XP? For fuck's sake. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for your patience, everybody. We will, we will return to the story very soon. Yeah, I can believe you do that, Ember. Your doggo is a good doggo. A fat doggo, but a good doggo. Bosh, that should be enough to t finish him off. There we are. And level up. Ember Assassin like you, truth. You're the true queen of sass, though. Magic plus one. And Saman has learned sleep. Hooray! Sleep is a remarkably useful spell. It's a, a lot of those grey spells are... It's also I said, I mean, it, 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 nothing, no, nothing bad, nothing... Oh god, I'm in trouble now. Uh, um, right, so now you're not on that one. You need to go back to Ramu now. And then we put Gao back on Cat Sith, which works because he's going to be the next one to level up now anyway. So we can we can stop messing about with the level up stuff. And we're on. Hooray. Let's carry on with the story. This is one of the most famous scenes in the entire game, this whole opera scene. Ah, oh, it's you again. We read that letter, so Seth is coming to snatch Maria away. Built like a triangle. <laughs> Fat ass. He'll probably appear right at the climax of the first act. He loves to make an entrance. Perfect. When he shows up, we'll jump out and nab him. Dear me, no. You'll ruin the performance. I'll lose my job. But if you don't do anything, do you see the conundrum? I want the performance to be a success, but I don't want Maria to be abducted. Oh, how sweet of him. So I say, let him take her. Huh? We'll use a decoy. Once he's got her, we'll follow him back to his airship. And if all goes well, we should be able to commandeer it. Are you mad? If something should happen to Maria... Bosh! <laughs> That's why we use the decoy. We can hide Maria someplace safe. Come again. Yeah, throwing it back to this background music is pretty funky. You said yourself... Oh, you're sorry. You said yourself that Celeste looks more like Maria. Now, now just a minute. She can be our Maria. We'll let Sets a kidnapper and lead us to his airship. Brilliant! <laughs> Hold on here. I am. Oh, that's our 30 minutes of hand cam. Thank you so much, Clown, for redeeming, for asking for that hand cam. It's always a pleasure to give it to you. Hold on here. I'm a former general, not some opera floozy. She says, and then runs into the fucking door and in to get changed. Mamma mi, do re mi fa. <laughs> Maria. That's the spirit. But, 
Oh no! It's Ultros! Steve Buscemi back! <laughs> <laughs> I have all my own little, I got my own little surprise plan for you. Just like Setsa. <laughs> It'll be tons of fun. Better go to work. We'll make a star out of you, Celeste. You're stuck again. Gum stuck. Gah! Isn't anyone going to read it? So let's... Now that we have an Ultros on stage... There he is. The war between the East and the West was growing more violent by the day. Draco, a soldier from the West, thinks of his loved Maria back at home. Now they've completely redone this scene for the remaster. They've done, they've kind of done a sort of pseudo 3D thing going on, a, a two and a half D thing, and it, yeah, it looked very different on the original, and I like it. Except I wish we could have changed the language to Italian. Or another language. <laughs> yes, it's it, it's amusing, but I I like I like what they did. I like the fact that they they went to that app because obviously they couldn't do that back in the day of the Super Nintendo. Um, but uh, but yeah, right here we go. I'm gonna go check on things in the dressing room. Oh, I hope this works. Uh, wh wh why is everyone singing? Wow, pretty song, pretty song. It is cute. <laughs> right, we head to the dressing room. Stand up for me when you did. Just like in any freaking. Irishman, you can if you wish, yes. Just like any friends to lovers scenario, they keep, she keeps asking the same fucking question again and again. Because I'm tired of standing by and doing nothing else while I lose all the girls I like. Am I just a replacement for her? See, this is kind of new actually. I like that they're doing this because they're addressing the. F they're. 
before they kind of, yeah, Florence scores 20 out of 10, yeah. Um, you know, it was... They're making it pretty clear there's something going on with them early on and not making it... And not making her dim. I mean, she's, she realises this shit early on. Yeah, they've, they've, they're acknowledging the fact that there is actually some chemistry between them. Which they kind of skirt around in the original. That ribbon looks nice on you. The subtext. I have to go on stage soon. This next scene's an important one. Maria starts wondering something's happening to Deco and pours her feelings into song. She didn't check the school one last time. Now, I know this fucking thing pretty much off by heart, but just in case, let's read it. Oh, my hero, my beloved, still... Uh, actually, it probably is pretty good that I read it because they've changed the lyrics in order to make them fit the fucking... the fact that they're being sung now. Shall we still be made to part? Though promises of perennial love yet still hang... Oh, my God! Sing here in my heart. Dear me. In I'm the darkness, you're the starlight shining brightly from afar. Though that was a despair, I offer this prayer to you, my evening star, dear God. Must my final vows exchange be with him and not with you? Were you only here to quiet my fear? Oh, speak, guide me anew. This is where you pick up the flowers, come to the hostel, mold balcony, the bouquet from the highest balcony. Be sure to check the finish by the end of the interlude. There is much time before the start of scene two. Impresario. Scene two, dot, 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 dot. I mean, they did the best they could with the awfulness that English is as a language for, for songs. Why are Italian and French so good for, uh, for songs, particularly classical songs? Because everything rhymes. It's nice that I feel very least. Here we go. I will turn the microphone off. Okay, so I forgot that I had to press down. Whoops. <laughs> we may have we may have to do it again. Sorry. Oops. Yeah, then we have to <laughs> we go back. Yeah, the voice is pretty. Yesterday was a royal mess. We managed to keep the stage. The show's still on for the next three days. In other words, we're gonna get three chances to do this. Let's make this happen. I believe I did that. Don't slip up this time. <laughs> Might as well just say don't fuck it up to her. Curious as to what mess would look like. So thank you. Now you now you know. Now you know. Empty empath. Yep, that is what happens, <laughs> um, and it's pretty much the same each time. Right. Let's try that again. Shall we still be 
And now we do this. Well, that's good. You used to have to try and control the dance, and it never looked good. I just press enter. Prince Ras is looking for his dance partner. Please leave the past behind. Our kingdom is part of the East now. I, I want to be at the opera performance when Mary Rose does that. That would be amazing. Of course, in a proper opera, or well, in some proper operas, a lot of proper operas, the songs only have five lines that repeat again and again and again. You are wonderful, Celis. Uh, as that is now 5.30, people, we are going to take a very, very quick break here. I do mean very quick. I just need to go and make, do a bio break, get some more water, um, and I'll be back. Um, I'm just going to put things on to the loading screen. Well, if any of you like an audio recording to masturbate to, be sure to play that. The end of the DVD, you'll sort you right out. So you can sort you. Right out. Yes, also not the weirdest thing about an opera performance, I'm quite sure. I will be back in just a, a proper. <laughs> very good, very good. Yes, I'm leaving you unsupervised for a few minutes. I'll be back very soon indeed. Lovely people.
Okay, here we go. Okay. Check, check, check. And... Hello, hello, hello. Is my monitor off? How did that happen? I'm getting things coming up on there. I am back, if you guys can hear me. Also, did I leave the sound on? Are you guys able to hear me? I just wonder if that might have been No, it doesn't matter. I don't think I've said anything, Doxy. You are some really ice sculpture. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> okay. I'm really quiet, really quiet. Hopefully, I'm louder now. You should be able to hear me now, hopefully. Um, Let's see if we can get this back. Oh. Uh, I know what I did. I meant to turn the microphone volume off and then I turned the headphone volumes off. So you probably were able to hear me going out and getting water and getting cake and stuff, weren't you? Well, there we go. Hopefully there was nothing particularly doxy in what you guys heard in the background there. Mm. I do not have cake. I have water. And we're about to carry on. Gonna have to go over the VOD now. Check to see if I didn't do anything stupid. <laughs> you can have sacrifices and arson in chat if you like, I don't mind. Plenty of time to get you sacrificed next time. No, 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 we're not doing that again. No, 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 God, sorry, wrong one. There we are. Here we go. Back we are. So, we've just had the musical bit of the opera, now it's time for the fighting bit of the opera, because it's Final Fantasy. I owe you wise one, so I'm gonna jam your opera. Ultras. Uh-oh, better tell the impresario. God almighty. Ah, Mary Rose lies on the pentagram in chat. Here we go. Go talk to the impresario. What? Western survivors attack. Impossible. Attack. We're going to have some more singing in a moment, I think. And yes, Tentacle Monster from the Deep. Wait! A line that really needs to be in every single opera. Then, it's a duel. But meanwhile... But how is he planning on disrupting the opera?
with that. Yeah, he's going to use that. That being a four-ton weight. <laughs> Let's see if Maria can shrug this off. Ah, this is heavier than I thought. It's going to take me five minutes to push this thing off. <laughs> yes, he recognizes exactly how long it's going to take him. In other words, we got five minutes to fix this, guys. You're having a second to lose. Exactly five minutes. Yeah, exactly. Talk to the stage hand in the room up on the right. He'll get you up there. Leave it to us. So first thing we do now is we go back to the equipment and we take off the ribbon here and we put on the sprint shoes, which will make us move a lot quicker, which is going to help things immensely. Whee! Meanwhile, this sacrifice is still going on in chat. I'll, I'll, I'm just going to let you guys get on with it. Impresario sent you. Oh, you've got to, you, you need to get up on the catwalks. Lever the switch on the far right, but don't touch the end of the others. Yeah, one of them takes you onto the stage. One of them, they all cost you time anyway. Door on the room to the left-hand side should be open now, and that gets us up on top. One turn, actually, you know what? Let's, let's do a couple of the others. What the hell? It's funny. We've got time. Oh, he's not letting me up now. Bums. Okay, shame. Yeah, one of them makes you fall onto the stage. One turns all the lights off. It's you know, they're just silly, basically. Four and a half minutes. Literally a priest stuck on this very rose. Jesus. <laughs> and on the up course there, we find mice, evil rats that are going to attack us. We're going to try and get past as, some of them if we can, but if we do end up fighting them, well, that's what happens. Slightly upset that we still don't have the... Um, we still don't have... Um, his um, his fire dance, which would make things a lot easier for us. As things stand, this might take a little while to get through with this. So what we need is to do as much damage as physically freaking possible. Whereas a multi, a guaranteed multi fire would be useful right now. Never mind, we got through. We beaten. <laughs> right. Try and avoid most of those because we don't really. I mean, okay, so we do need the XP, but we don't. We we also need to get through this. Okay, right. Here we go. Preemptive strike. Yeah. Okay. Um. Temper is still our best bet, really, here. There we are. That goes through all those guys, and then we take out this one. That worked fine. Job done. Oh, and people learn lots of things, that's great. I think Saber may have nearly finished, if not has finished, his Esper. That's great. This is really good cake, people. Just saying. Pain in the ass to get that incubus to be subby and behave. <laughs> Cation is very important. Got a high potion though, that's good. We still got loads of time, guys. We haven't even it's paused the time during the It's actually been quite good about that. Does it actually pause the time completely during the battle? Oh it does! Wow! Okay. Well that oh no it does, it, does, it just does in during messages during the battle. Okay. Well that's pretty cool. So it has made it has But yeah, it used to just count down all the time. Oh, it was a fruitcake. It was a very tasty fruitcake as well. So the plan, guys, we're going to finish the opera here, and we're going to go through all the cutscenes that come afterwards, and then we will, when we reach the Empire, that is when we are going to uh, to to stop. And now, 
actually, you know what, let's heal ourselves up before we go into the battle with Ultros. And we'll take the sprint shoes off, and we'll put the Gygus thing on, because we might as well bash the shit out of him. Um, anything else? I think that's alright. Now, I think Saban has actually... Have both Saban and Gal finished their espers? That's the question. No, he's still do he's still learning float. Okay, that's fine. And what about Saban? Has he finished? Yeah, he has finished his Esper. Okay. There's no point in switching it from for someone else because they will have to take that off someone else. But actually, hang on. What about Lock? What's Lock got to go? He's got. Uh, it's worth him getting regen probably. We'll wait. Um, Cure is not worth waiting for right now, to be honest. But yeah, because we could switch, but it's not much point. Huh? All right. And now this happens. I love this. This is one of my favourite bits in the game. Just this little scene. I don't know if they sing this bit. I hope they do. Oh, no, nah, this will never do. With eyes too flat and there's no one to win the girl. How can the story possibly continue? Please say they're going to get locked to sing. Oh, shame. I'm going to make it, it just, it's still speech, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I guess. Well, I don't like cake. That's all good. Neither Draco nor Rouse will win Celeste's hand. He used her real name. It is I, Loke, the world's premier adventurer who shall take her as my wife. Oh, and they're happy. Oh dear, what dreadful acting! Silence, knave! You stand in the presence of Octopus royalty! A lowborn thief like you can never defeat me! I fucking love this. I love how they both immediately jump into character. I challenge you to a duel! Well, might as well make the most, most of this music! <laughs> oh, this is fun. Ultros battles are always fun. See, did you miss me? I'm kind of annoyed that you can't... Um, and obviously we're going to use Templar because we're going to do hideous damage to him with Fira. I'm kind of annoyed that you can't... Uh, actually, I, can we Meteor Strike him? Yeah, we can now uh, miss us because he's technically he's underwater, yeah. Still he's practically gone already now. But yeah, I love just the, the comedicness of these uh, of these moments. It's a wonderful sort of recurring meme of a bad guy that Ultros is. He has been waiting for his moment on stage the whole life. Oh fuck, I forgot he had acid rain. That's a really nasty one. Oh, I just thought also of something I can do. I'd probably not worth it. I think we've probably beaten them now anyway, have we? Thwart it again! Yeah. I feel like such a sucker. The octopus puns, people. And yeah, Gal, 100% able to two-shot him with Templar as a rage, because Vera is ridiculous at this point, and will remain ridiculous for quite a while. That is the end of the big boss battle. Maybe. Hold it right there. Now this is how you make an entrance. My compliments on a most impressive performance. It's Robert Downey Jr., boys and girls. Setsa. I'm a man of my word, impresario. I'm taking Maria. Now, did he just strip her in one thing there? I'm not too sure. Suggestions that they, that he did. Unforeseen twists at every turn. Just as we think Maria is to become Locke's new bride, she's dragged off by Setzer instead. What fate lies in store for her now? Be sure to come back in part C in part two. Oh, my lover, he left. It really is Robert Jelly <laughs> Jr. It's not even perfect casting, let's be honest. <laughs> I like how they do the curtain as well. So I see a character with long white hair, and I have to have a crush on them. Yeah, it, it's absolutely fair, Leonor. I mean, he is pure Bishonen from start to finish. 
Don't worry. Don't, sorry. Don't worry. I'll give you plenty of attention later. And ding. Wink. Cheeky wink. Hashtag cheeky wink. And she throws down a rope and lets everyone up. What a performance. You're a great fake actress, Celis. Enough. But the real show starts now. It's time for Act Two. Where sits her? He should be right back. But what, what are you doing here? You're not Maria, are you? Setzer, we need your help. We need to get to Vector. Your ship is the only... If you're not Maria, then we have nothing to talk about. Wait. Wait, we heard your ship is the finest vessel in the world. And that you were the world's greatest gambler. My brother's the King of Figaro. If you can help us, I ask him for a, I can ask him to reward you. Now, whoever you bring has a different thing to say. Basically, has a different way to try and convince him. Except Gao has nothing to say because he's a 13 year old wild kid. <laughs> but there we are. Hence why there's a night for him. Well, that's okay. Come with me. Then you'll. Don't misunderstand me. I haven't. I still haven't said I'll help you. So this. We'll go back, go to the with the plot in a moment. This is his airship called the Blackjack, and it's fucking wicked. It's a fucking flying casino, boys and girls, and everyone else, wherever you find yourself on or off the spectrum. <laughs> this guy, like, seriously, I'll be no sky pirate who rides around in a flying casino, and, and yeah, he's awesome. As a character in battle, my jury is still kind of out on him because his main ability is slot, which is a completely chance-based thing. Um, he does, however, have reasonable base magic power, and he can be made a pretty decent mage with uh, with some good spells. And towards the end of the game, he gets a lot, some, a couple of very good weapons that are also luck-based, but um, the Casio, no, not flying Casio, very different thing. Yeah, <laughs> flying Casio calculator. There's an image in my head now. Um, that uh, the goat that. Um, that ignore defense, which is very, very cool. But for now, yep, yeah, this is him. Hmm. Business has been not. Oh, that's new. Okay. So in all the, in all the previous versions, his line here has been has been the empire has made me rich, and now they've changed it so he doesn't like the empire, which possibly makes this a bit. <sighs> Business has been kind of awfully slow lately, thanks to the Empire. You're not the only one suffering. The Empire has been toppling towns and villages left and right. They're abusing their magitech power to try and take over the world. Maybe you want to be a slave to the Empire, but I sure don't. Gow has nothing to say again. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Hmm. We're at least together in hand in the Empire, right? So, please? You know, I think you might be might be even cuter than Maria. Huh? All right. If you... If Celeste becomes my wife, I'll help you. Otherwise... What? Are you crazy? Fine. Settled. On one condition. We flip this coin. If it's heads, you help us. If it's tails, I'm yours. Well, Mr. Gambler? <laughs> I like it, I accept. Are you serious if you marry that guy? Ready? I'll tell you about the little variations of this scene after we've got through it. Five can't start. Very classy. Not Texas Hold'em. Heads. I win. 
Now it's time for you to hold up your end of the bargain. A valuable trinket indeed. I've never seen a double-catted coin before. I'm afraid you've been hustled, Mr. Gambler, but that's part of the game now, isn't it? Ha! <laughs> How low can you stoop? I love it. All right, I'll help you. Gambling against the Empire with none to lose my life? I haven't felt so excited in years! Not gonna lie, they've made him a lot cooler with the new dialogue. Well, ah, but they kept that quote completely as it always was. One of my favourite quotes in the history of Final Fantasy. My life is a chip in your pile. Annie up! The big if we're gonna play five card star. No magic, okay. Absolutely. Alright. So in um I'm just gonna assume this isn't a time related thing. No, okay, I'm just going to pause here for a second while I explain um, what could have happened there. In that previous scene, depending on who you bring, different things happen. Like I say, you've seen that they will say, they will have their different things that they'll say to um, to Setsa to convince him on both accounts. But um, during that coin scene with the double-headed coin, if Edgar is in your party, he will give Celeste the coin. And you may remember hearing before that the their life was uh, um, that the fate of the kingdom in terms of whether um, Sabin would leave or not was decided on a coin flip. And if Sabin and Edgar are in the party, Edgar gives the double-headed coin to her, and then Sabin realizes that that was the same coin, and that um, Edgar knew all along that he was gonna, that Sabin was going to be free and. So yeah, it's a nice little, nice little thing. There was a really beautiful bromance scene between Saban and Edgar. I mean, genuine bromance because they actually are brothers. That we'll um, we'll get onto later when they um, it, when we take them both to Figaro Castle together. But we'll wait till, till but that won't be for a couple of sessions time. Moving on. Yeah, Cards Against Humanity is always fun. I can't believe this clunky old thing can fly. Are you sure it'll stay in the air? Uh, when things fall, they fall. Life's a game of chance. You play your cards, fate plays hers. The spot us in the air from miles away if we don't try if we fly this thing into the Empire. We'd better land a safe distance away. Yeah, all that, yes, I might be busy with your aunt, that's very true. That sounds like a good idea. I'll stay on board and keep the ship ready to take off at a moment's notice. In other words, you don't get to play a Setzer yet. Until after this whole um, scenario where we invade the Empire. After that we do. I know, it, it, it is so fucking cool, isn't it? I mean, we all love the whole steampunk airship thing that's been a staple of Final Fantasies from the beginning. Um, but I don't know, the, there's something about the fact that Blackjack has a flying casino that makes it even cooler. We are coming near to the end of the stream now, people. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna stop it when we um, when we land at the Empire. It's like, almost ex puts us exactly almost to the two hour mark, just a little bit over, which is fine. Yep, that that's that's exactly what I'm hoping she'll do. It definitely would be that way around, Mary Rose. And there we are. Hooray! Oh, we achievement unlocked. So we are now at the Empire. We'll be um, going around the Empire a little bit next time. And we'll be most importantly invading Vector. Eh, it depends on the partner, <laughs> honestly, Mary Rose, and the scenario. But with your aunt, definitely I'm on the bottom, obviously. Let's not be honest, let's not mess about here. So, we are going to make a save here. Brilliant. Yeah, I've got lots of fast, haven't we? Yeah, brilliant. And <sighs> entire stream in <sighs> Okay. I am gonna forbid you from making me do an entire steam in French if it's if it's a it's if, it's if it's a plot episode of Final Fantasy VI, okay? If you wanna do it when we're doing a, a grinding session or something, fine. But uh, um, the uh, um, but uh, any other thing, absolutely fine. Go ahead, you nutter. 
French Minecraft, sure, bring it, you bastards. <laughs> okay, let me get us, um, just gonna F11 to get us out of full screen on here. So yeah, anyway, you've now seen what is one of the most um, famous scenes in in all Final Fantasy games, really, that that, uh, that opera scene. And I like what they did with it. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the, the English um, vocals, but they did the best job they could. And, um, and yeah, I would, um, I would suggest having a, a check on, um, having a check of, um, the Italian and, well, all the various different versions on YouTube. Um, and I say that the Japanese version doesn't really work in my opinion, but I'm kind of a snob. Um, how do I get out of full screen? No, it is in windowed bollocks. Okay, right. How do I get out of this fucking thing then? Oh, God damn it. Okay, well, never mind. I'll just leave it there. Whatever. Let's find us a, a race. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't atrocious, it's true. Um, the Italian version is better, and they get an actual opera singer to do it. You know, um, somebody who can really hold those horse, which obviously I can't. Well, I'm not sure who they got to sing there, but they, they were okay. Right, Twitch. I'm gonna have to ask Jed. Jesus. I'm not sure how long it is the redeem? Each redeem is five minutes. The redeems are five minutes long, so you could probably just about pull it off. Uh, dear. All right, let's. Uh, um, Let's find someone. Is there anyone on we know? There isn't anyone on we know. That's a shame. Okay. Um, what do you think, people? Should we go for a music stream, an art stream? Um, I'm quite amused by the fact that Amazon Music UK have got themselves on the front page and they have 48 viewers. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> themselves up there as the I was meant to be looking at. French the French redeem lasts for five minutes. Five minutes, people. Oh and yes of course Mayor Rose, you are a very good girl. Art, yeah I think so. Let's go with the art. Me oh music to keep the opera theme. That's a oh I wonder if I can find someone who actually is doing opera. Let's see if we've got someone who does opera. Okay. Um Hmm. Who's currently live? Videos. No, those are past videos. Okay, let's, let's have a quick look in the music category and see if we've got... We're going to see if there's an opera singer, because if there's an opera singer, that's obviously where we're going. Okay. So, <laughs> put it up to the top of the music channel, do yet still only 40-odd views. Um, right. Dance music, classical, classical. Here we are, classical music. Who have we got? <laughs> I'm so amused that Amazon are desperately trying to pimp themselves out here, and that no one's watching them. Every single, <laughs> even under classical. Hey, no, no, no. This isn't that you're not doing classical music there. Clearly, no one's watching you. Amazing. Okay, right. Um, hmm. Such a tech. Is there anything under the opera tag? Nope. What about classical? No. Nope. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's do. Let's just do. Uh, let's just do something chill. Okay. Um, this one looks quite nice. Chilled Sunday vibes. Let's go with that. Oh, Twenty-eight viewers. I'm gonna drop in on these people here. Thank you very much for joining me, everybody. There is next week a brand new long audio dropping called um, uh, Love Forged in Iron. It is a, a medieval... Um, is it fantasy? I don't know. Not really fantasy, but a, a slow burn medieval um, romance between a blacksmith's daughter and her lord. And um, there will be very soon, maybe even tonight if I can get it done tonight, UK time, 
dropping a new Friends to Lovers audio written by Right Bit of Kit, which um, has a Thanksgiving theme to it, and I think you'll enjoy as well. Um, for Patreons, we dropped the Comfort Audio Stroke Romantic Meditation yesterday. Um, the next episode um, of uh, um, Graysland should be coming in a few days' time as well. Oh, this person's playing flute. That's close enough to that's close enough to opera. We'll do that. Okay. All right. Um, thank you all very, very much. Please do come for the raid for a few moments if you possibly can. It's great. If you can't, don't worry. Um, and uh, I'll see you all again very, very soon. Um, lovely, beautiful human beings. Good night, darling. <laughs>